At the end of this video, you'll know how to use an audio equalizer. Keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Elliot from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. If you want more filming and editing tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button if you want instant notification on our latest video releases. An audio equalizer, or EQ, is a tool you could use to bring out or soften low, mid, or high tones in your audio recording. Without getting too technical, the EQ allows you to highlight certain sounds and hide others. To understand how EQ can enhance your audio, you'll need to start using it, and today I'm gonna show you how to do that in Filmora 9. Afterwards, I'll share three common situations where you might wanna use an equalizer for a YouTube video. Let's get started. To find the equalizer, just double click on the audio clip you want to edit. That will open the audio editing menu in the top left portion of your screen. Next to Equalizer, click Customize. You'll see 10 sliders. The sliders towards the left are for low tones, the sliders towards the right are for higher tones, and the mid-tones are in the middle. Let's close this for a moment and listen to the audio. Are you afraid of heights? Mm, I don't know. Let's well go see. <laughs> okay. Now, let's open the equalizer back up. I'll make some changes and you'll be able to hear the effect after. Let's pull up these three sliders on the left and listen again. Are you afraid of heights? Mm, I don't know. Let's well. go see. <laughs> you can hear how only the low parts of the audio have been emphasized. That doesn't sound natural, so let's go back into the tool. In most situations, when you need to turn up your low, mid, or high tones, you're probably not gonna actually turn up only those tones. Instead, you wanna make a curve with the tone you want emphasized most at the top. This will create a more natural sound. Are you afraid of heights? Mm, I don't know. Let's well. go see. <laughs> now that you've seen the basics of how the equalizer works, let's take a look at three ways you can use the equalizer to improve your YouTube video. If you're filming in a location where you can't control the sound your mic picks up, you might end up with some low tone noise such as wind or traffic or other background noise. Fencing, you know, just because, just in case you need to fence. By pulling down the slider towards the left of the equalizer, you can hide these noises. Fencing, you know, just because, just in case you need to fence. If you turn down your low tones too much, then your dialogue can start to sound thin. So make sure you're listening to your audio back and making adjustments. If your dialogue starts to sound thin, pull the low tones back up a bit. Fencing, you know, just because, just in case you need to fence. If you have a lot of background noise, you might use the denoise tool to remove it automatically. Similar to how you could turn your low tones down too much and need to adjust it, the denoise tool can leave you with thin sounding audio after you use it. And we can't end this vlog without an epic view of the city. If you open up the equalizer, you'll be able to amplify the low tones again for more natural sounding dialogue. And we can't end this vlog without an epic view of the city. So here it is. A lot of time when you're filming a video that is just primarily you talking to the camera, you'll use background music. However, if the background music has strong low tones, then the rhythm of the music can distract from what you're saying. Instead of switching songs, you can use the equalizer to lower the bass in your music so it isn't competing with your dialogue. And you can't end this vlog without an epic view of the city. So here it is. Have you ever used an equalizer? And what do you do to make sure that your audio is great in your video? Let us know in the comments, and if you want more video editing tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Until the next video, keep creating.